Look at all this damn traffic, man. Look at it, man. Look at it. Just miles and miles of it, man. Miles and miles of it. Part of IT and it shut down. About a 45 minute delay. I'll be goddamn! What's good, y'all? Y'all know who it is, man. Your favorite truck. I'm back, man. Reporting live from the gridiron here in Austin, Texas, Maine vicinity. Hope all is well, cause God has got all the time, and especially on this therapeutic, thirsty Thursday, man. What's good with y'all, man? Hopefully, you guys had a fantastic Thursday. I know I did, man. Based off me waking up or waking up on time. Excuse me. Waking up on time. Um, getting to my my drop off place, and uh, ooh, excuse me again. I'm so sorry, guys. I've had a little fluttery stomach for the past couple hours, and have tried to take some tums and give some things that's got the the bubbly in it, like you know, some Topo Chico's, uh, Sprite Zeros, um, things like that to try to kind of get that you know get that going at the bottom bottom of my stomach. I keep looking over there because I keep looking at the bottom. Um, but yeah, man, um, woke up this morning about, uh, eight o'clock, um, uh, got up about eight o'clock. Um, I was like, man, I'm tired. Lay, set my alarm for eight 30 because I had about, when I woke up, it was nine 36 left on, on my, uh, clock before it, uh, reset to 10. I need 10 hours for it to reset for it's your 10 hour break. And I was like, when it resets, I still got 30 minutes on top of that. So I'm going to lay down to about 8.30, then went to reset, I can get going after that. And then, you know, as I set off my alarm to set my alarm again, um, I saw my dad had texted me at 6.45, I'm like, brother ain't up, bye. <laughs> you know, I'm up. And then, um, closed my eyes for about, I don't know how long it was, and then my dad called me, because I didn't respond to my text message. Just kind of checking up on if I was okay. I'm like, yeah. When, he, when I heard the phone ring, I said, I already know who it is, man. We talked for a few minutes and then um, got off the phone, closed my eyes for about 10, got up and kind of got going after that, man. Um, got to that location, which was about 1.5 miles away. Got there about 9.15, 9.20. Um, got in, got backed up to the spot. Um, seemed like there's always obstacles there um, that I got to maneuver around and like to try to challenge me a little bit and um jesus take the wheel and he does and i get in that spot every time you know what i'm saying um get in there and and i was able to you know get get some of my, my motivational post post posted um was able to you know eat breakfast um it was kind of just kind of just wake up a little bit you know what i'm saying kind of chill for a minute and then um Got that knock on the door. I'm like, wait. They only knock on my door when they're, when they're uh, done. They're ready. I'm like, it's an hour and five minutes. They done already? God damn. Usually I'm there about two hours max. Maybe a little longer, but about two hours. Uh, it was an hour and five minutes. And I was like, God damn. Okay. Thirsty therapeutic Thursday. What's good with you? You know what I'm talking about? Um, so I was like, okay, cool. Signed the paperwork and hooked up to it and got up out of there, man. Got up out of there, went to Edinburgh, got me some fuel and, um, pushed on, man. Pushed on, man. Um, I had planned on stopping and seeing my boy in San Antonio. Um, but you know, once I had stopped, used the restroom, I shot him a text and, um, he responded, you know, fortunately while I was parked, and um, he responded, and I uh, uh, got the text, and um, so he, he said, man, I don't get off till 7, and I'm like, man, hell no, nah. I'll be through there about 3.30, you know what I'm talking about, and then um, I said, I'm gone, bro, I'm going to catch you on the flip, you know what I'm talking about, and then um, I'm pushing on, pushing on, then I get on I-10 to take the toll around Aust around San Antonio and around Austin um, to get on the north side of it. And uh, at least try to get on the north side of it. You know what I'm saying? Before sometimes I can take a break or whatnot. And um, get on 10 and I'm like, 
Part of 10 was shut down for 45 minutes, man. I was stuck in traffic for 45 minutes. I was mad. I was mad initially for like the first minute, minute, two minutes. And then um, I was like, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I'm sitting on I 10 with my brakes pulled in traffic. You know what I'm talking about? So, sitting there, and we finally get going 45 minutes later. And then um, we get going. I get the Mustang Ridge. Um, I was on the Super Tow, the Pilot, the Travel Center. I said, let me stretch my legs for a minute, man. We walk around, go inside, use the restroom. You know what I'm talking about? Then I'll be damned. Well, I'll take that back. God is good. And I'm sitting there, I get back to my truck, and I get on my phone for a minute just to check everything before I get ready to head out. And I look to my left, I'm like, man, that guy looks familiar. And a Dollar Tree truck. Then he stops, backs up, and I look again. It's one of my former players that I coached, man. He's a truck driver now. He, he uh, works for Dollar General, man. And I was like, Man, what a sight, man. It was beautiful to see, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, get out here and get this money, man. Legally. You feel me? Legally. And um, we chopped it up for a minute. He said, I'm going to go park and watch him go park. And, man, watch him go park. And we chopped it up for about 20, 30 minutes, man. Just, just catching up, man. For real, for real. And it made me feel good, man. It made me really feel good, man. It's like. I recruited this guy. He came and did his thing, you know what I'm saying? And just now he doing his thing, you know what I'm talking about? And then um and then kinda after that, he got back on the road for about another forty five minutes or so, an hour, and then got as north of Austin as I could and I'm chilling now, man. Pull pulled my brakes and and just chilled, man. It's just been a long week, man. I've only worked two days technically. <laughs> But it's just been a long week, man. A good week at that, man. Because it definitely could have been worse, and I could definitely look at it as a negative week. But it's been a, it's been a good week, and just just taking it how it comes, man. And um, just grateful grateful for how things are. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, definitely could be worse, man. And um, talked to my dad for about four and a half hours, four hours and thirteen minutes at that. And uh, we talked, and just got off the phone. Um, it is. It is 10.20. Um, got off the phone and um, if take me a little bird bath and get ready to lay down and get ready to get after it tomorrow, man. Um, like I said, man, it was definitely a good Thursday, man. Um, you know, I wanted to do one thing, but, you know, things happen. You know what I'm saying? And um, you just got to make, make adjustments and keep going. You know what I'm saying? It's just what we got to do, man. And, um, you um, just grateful, you know, saying, like I said, my stomach a little fluttery, but it could be worse. Um, but hey, um, just take it how it comes and make it do what it do, you know what I'm talking about? And um, it's a good day, man. It's definitely been a good day, man. Um, really has, man. Um, definitely count your blessings. Um, definitely continue to show your gratitude, man, um, for what it is that you got and for, the, for what it is that you want. You know what I'm saying? Believe that you got it. And um, no, don't let the devil tell you otherwise. You know what I'm talking about? So, um, like I said, I'm going to get up off this thing, man. Take a little bird bath and try to eat, lay it on down a little bit. Try to get as much rest as I can. And uh, we're going to hit it fresh tomorrow. You know what I'm talking about? Um, continue to ask your questions. Continue to do your research. And um, continue to have the belief in yourself as much that you can do it. As I can taste your behavior for success. Start small, stay consistent, and trust your gut instincts. And just remember, I'm just an imaginary little brother giving you advice, outlast the average, and take everything to the bloodstream. Until the next episode. I holla.